Yeah, it's another reaction Thursday for you guys today. Today we're going to go over the three secrets to how to tackle somebody in that's a bigger player. Uh, I know I've had one of my popular videos is how to tackle tackle a bigger player, and, and I usually talk about on that one really initiating the contact and really getting the person down. But today we're really going to focus on initiating contact, but really getting that person down. But these are the three main things you want to focus on, especially when you see a bigger back, bigger person that got the ball. And the first thing we're going to talk about is you have to understand you need to have the right mindset, please. A lot of times people, they go into these tackles and they're like, oh, that dude's so big, man. Look at the backfield. Look at the running back in the backfield. He's huge. But the thing is, you don't want to focus on that. You want to focus on him getting down. You want to focus on him getting on the ground. And a lot of times people are like, oh, he's so big. How can he get down? Derrick Henry falls. Derrick Henry could get tackled. Anybody could get tackled. There's not nobody out there that's just running that can run through any tackles. And I've I've seen guys on this channel comment certain players, and they're like, oh, well, he's he's a goat out there. He's he's goaded. He's goaded, Scotty. You don't understand? It's like, bro, I understand. I've played against some crazy dudes, but they could all get knocked down. And the thing is, you want to make sure that you're really hitting these guys in the right spot. And you want to aim in that hip region, the sweet spot around the hip trunk region. So you want to name from the aim from like the numbers down when you're hitting these bigger dudes to really initiate the contact stop them in their tracks and let's get into the next next point so you don't want to get caught at a standstill right here i got paris ford i've showed y'all paris ford so many times p diddy from the city shout out to him and um he does a great job of getting guys down on the ground he does a great job of having that right mindset when he goes in the back when he goes into tackling anybody it's not about oh well that guy's big it's about i'm getting him down on the ground whether i get a great initial hit or whether i don't get a great initial hit and i want you guys to focus on this when we're when we're going over this in the video he don't get caught at a standstill either he's not waiting for this guy and that's a lot of times you guys are getting caught waiting like especially when the dude's bigger than you he's running with a lot more force and more power you don't want to get caught waiting on that guy because that guy's going to run you over especially if he knows what he's doing a lot of big dudes don't know what they're doing when they're running the ball but if the dude knows what he's doing when he's running that rock you don't want to get caught at the standstill so let's let's see what what pete diddy does here and as you see he's right here he sees once he sees that running back cut back he initiate great contact, drives his feet, and he's he's coming with aggression. And that's the missing key, man. And look at his little celebration afterwards. Shout out to him. But we don't understand. A lot of people don't understand this. You got to come with that aggression. That comes with that mindset. When you're on that field, you got to know, like, I'm getting this dude down. I'm actually in the process of making a mindset program for y'all. I want y'all to have that mindset. I want y'all to go in and lock in and be able to tackle anybody, be able to accomplish anything you can on that field. Because I know y'all can. Y'all are committed to it. Y'all watch all my videos. You watch all the Scotty videos. Implement it and become a goat out there, man. I know y'all could do it. A lot of y'all tell me y'all these videos help y'all. Come on, man. Let's get it. Let's get that mindset right. And back to what I said about mindset, man. Like, I'm going to play this play over again. Look, he's right here. Now, when he's going to pursue for the ball, he's not playing with him. He's like, all right. He Once he sees he got the ball, he's coming downhill. He doesn't even wait. He's coming in flying. Now, when I say waiting, I don't mean breaking down and, and, and like, like, Sometimes when you're breaking down and you're like gathering the power to get into a hit, it looks like you're stand at a standstill. That's not being at a standstill. Being at a standstill is literally just standing there. Like, oh my goodness, he's gonna hit me. No, when if you're going towards the tackle, you're getting ready to make the tackle, that's not getting caught at a standstill. That is gathering the power to make the tackle. And just like you see here, he initiates contact, does a good job initiating contact doesn't win the initial contact but he wraps him down he comes down ferociously and that is the last point we're going to go over in this video 
the third secret. When you wrap down, bring that person down. You got to stay aggressive and grapple down. You're not always going to win that first contact, that first initial contact. It's not always going to happen. So you have to be cognizant of that. You have to understand, like, oh, well, there's been numerous attacks where you ran in there, you tried to initiate great contact, and the dude, like, he was just unreal out there. He dipped his shoulder, he trucked you, and he landed on top of you, or he trucked you, and he, in some cases, he kept it pushing, trucked you, and kept running. What you got to realize is you're not going to win that contact all the time. And there's always that half second, the, 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 milliseconds where it's like i could grapple and i could try to wrestle this dude down and that's what i want y'all to focus on that's rapping that comes with aggression and grappling and bringing them down so when you're rapping you want to make sure you're bringing it same play i'm gonna show you guys the same play because this is such a great play when he loses contact i want you to see he comes in he initiates contact he doesn't necessarily win. He doesn't necessarily like knock him back. The guy's kind of going forward. Now, I stopped it a little too late, but Pity B Diddy kind of caught him. Pairs four caught him. But look how look at his drive. Look at the drive he does. Look at the rap. And look how look how he grapples him down. He keeps his feet moving. And when I don't like when coaches be like, keep your feet moving and then you just be chopping in one spot. No, you're driving through them. You want to like, like you're dragging a sled. You want to literally take them steps forward and really drive into the tackle. This is where you're driving him back or you wrestling him down. And with the wrap, you want to bring him up. You want to wrap and make sure your arms are around the body. Now look, he's bringing him down, and he doesn't necessarily win the total drive. He's not driving him a million yards back. He literally drives. It's probably still a standstill. It doesn't weigh that much. But look at the aggression on the grapple down and the bring down. He's like, okay, I can't. I got you in a position now, because now at that position, the running back's feet, his feet was moving a little bit, but they wasn't at a great. They wasn't moving at a great power. Now he positions himself. So he can grapple him, grab him, and wrestle him down. As he does here, in an aggressive manner. He's not wrestling him down and hugging him and, and dapping him up when he comes up. He's doing down. And that's how you you gotta you gotta have that mindset. Let's go to another another part of the video. Let's go, let's just see another play, man. Comment below if this is helping y'all, man. I know this is helping y'all, but comment below. That this is great content. If, if you see any value in the video, comment that below. So, look, he's hit. This is another play. Uh, this play is actually in the middle of the play, but um, this is on his highlight tape. But he's chasing down, he's chasing down the dude that caught the ball, and he's wrestling him down. Now, what you see here is he's wrestling and he brings him down. A lot of times, people are like, "Oh well." uh he's he didn't really like like wrestling like he he, he brought him down though you want to bring the person down i hate when coaches be like oh make sure like yeah when you're in practice you're hitting you don't want to make sure you, you want to make sure you're not hitting you're hurting your teammate but in the game like bro like you're bringing that person down in practice if he got pads on bring him down man that is part of the game that is football that's football now let's <laughs> Ed, let's get this ad off the screen. Shout out to Minecraft. I'm not really a Minecraft guy, but shout out to them. I, I see that they have a lot of videos on YouTube. We're going to skip them for now. Let's get back to it. And this last play, as you see, P. Diddy's right here. And same, same type of situation. He's going downhill. He's not thinking twice. And he doesn't win this contact here either. This is a bigger stock here back. Now, when he hits him, notice, notice literally how he doesn't really get good, great contact. And when I say great contact, I mean like you don't get him square in the square in the numbers, or you don't stop him right in his tracks. Like you hit him and you may slide up, or you 
may initiate contact, slide down, you may hit them, and you may be at a, y'all both may be at a standstill. A lot of tackles happen like that. 85% of tackles happen like that. You're rarely just going to have a tackle where you just hit them at a stand, hit them, and it's just, oh, he's going back. These is the parts of the tackles nobody else talk about. This is this is this is valuable right here. So look, as he initiates contact, he he catches himself on his feet and he brings he gets in a decent position and he's ready to drive. Look how he drives him and brings him down aggressively. He's not placing him down, making sure that his back's not hurt. He's taking him down on the ground. That is part of the game. It's bad contact, but he has a great wrap. He's wrapped him up. He's getting all the body, all the body that he can. And he got him in a compromised position. Now he's able to put him down on the ground. So remember the three secrets. Understand you got to have that right mindset. You can't be going in there jelly chested and ready, ready to play with flowers. Like you got to go in there ready to hit, ready to play football, get that job done. Second, don't get caught at a standstill. You don't want to be standing still on that football field, especially when you're hitting the bigger dude. And last but not least, wrap in the bring down. Stay aggressive, grapple down. You're not going to win the contact all the time. So if you don't hit him in a tackling zone or you're in a tackling zone and it's like, oh, well, I hit him and I got caught at a standstill, drive your feet, wrap up hard, and wrestle him down to the ground. Come on, man. This is going to help y'all. Let's get it. Peace. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green, or real on that field, or extort on that court. The No Baller Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?